What's up? Today, I'm going to show you guys how I mix house music. So, when it comes to mixing house, a lot of times people have it more of like a progressive ebb and flow, a lot of slow knob turning, some EQ, it's just this general like progression. I'm going to show you guys four different ways that I like to mix house. It's a little bit more abrupt. Now, that doesn't mean you should always use these type of techniques, but I do think that if you mix them into your sets and incorporate them, I think you'll get some good responses. And if you do learn something in today's video that you want to implement in your sets, make sure you like, subscribe. All that jazz really helps us out over here and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So I did just buy this like GoPro chest mount so you guys can see the mixer more when I'm DJing. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hop over to the mixer and I'm gonna show you guys how I do those transitions. Okay, so first things first, part of the mess that's in front of the mixer and around the room right now. One, I'm moving, and then two, these lights are going off for rental this weekend, so I got a good bit going on. And in terms of the first transition here on the mixer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the volume fader to layer a hi-hat over top of the other hats because it's a very similar pattern with house music. And then I'm going to actually swap the basses really quick because then it gives a very sudden kind of transition to house music, which typically is a little bit, I don't know how I would say it, like they're a little bit smoother, a little more drawn out. So if people really know the song, it's a great way to mix it up and have it abruptly come in and you'll get a good reaction off of it. All right, so another thing you can do, which I went over in a previous video, is using the crossfader to actually sample the next song that's coming in, or you can tease the next song that's coming in. With house music, like I said, a lot of times people just slowly bring up the volume, do some gentle like transitions with the knobs, and they'll fade out the next song. But with this, I'm kind of hoping to show you guys a more like abrupt way to mix house music, which I think will actually help you guys when you're actually DJing this. <laughs> Every night, got the club. All right, so the third one I want to talk about is using acapella out edits when you're actually DJing house music. So they're a little bit harder to find. Uh, people are starting to make more DJ tools now. I know Heavy Hits has a lot more now. This is an older one that I like to use. It's by Nick Bike. Um, it's like an OG song percolator, but he has the acapella out for it, which I use all the time when I'm DJing. Even if I'm not actually playing the track, I'll use this and I'll just loop the acapella 
as an acapella loop for whatever I'm DJing. So I'm gonna take two oldies here. So I got a song called Next, and then I'm gonna use the acapella out of Percolator. And I won't have to do too, too much, but acapella outs are a great way of just, you don't have to use many knobs to manipulate things. You're not gonna have little like frequencies cutting through if you were to like try to EQ your own acapella or if you were using a DIY, it's a pure acapella. So you don't really have to do that much with it. And it gives you a lot of freedom to kind of play around with whatever you're using. So. It's time for the percolator. 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 For the percolator, it's time 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 for the percolator. Later. All right, so the last one I want to talk about is something I don't see used a lot, but I do think should be used more, especially in house music, is a lot of word playing. So word play is essentially when you take one song from another song that is either the same title or has similar phrasing as the next song that's coming in. So these songs are both called Lemonade, so you obviously know the word that I'm using, which is Lemonade. So word playing is a great way to... <clears throat> kind of express like artistic I don't know like DJing would be the way to describe it I guess I don't know basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take the loop of the acapella lemonade here and then I'm going to transition it into lemonade here so I already have this loop preset but you're gonna see me adjust the fader because there's different frequencies coming in that I don't want there's different elements too like there's an 808 that comes in there's like a teapot sound thing that they use as a riser so it's a little bit weird so i'll show you kind of what it sounds like le lemonade. Lemonade. Le, le, lemonade. so right here lemonade. Le, le, lemonade. i don't want that 808 to come in so lemonade. Lemonade. Le, le, lemonade. Lemonade. Le, le, lemonade. that does it for today's video hopefully you guys learned something new if you did make sure to like subscribe all that yada yada good stuff and i'll be back next week with another video for you guys but until the next time take it easy tell someone you love them all that good stuff and i'll be back soon